Hey guys, it's Lori. I wanted to show you a really easy way to put your hair up in a high bun. Um, what you're going to need for this is one of these little donuts. I like these little brushes. I feel like you can get your hair up in a bun a little bit better. And then some hairspray. Um, I really like this L'Oreal hairspray. I feel like it smooths your hair a little bit more. So the first thing I do is I take my brush like this and I get it a little wet. This is just going to help um, smooth out any of those lines you have up in your hair. Again, I like mine really high. You don't have to put your bun up high. It's a personal preference, but keep in mind if you're taking pictures, if your bun's not really high up in your head, it's going to look like you have no hair at all. Um, so get a good pony going. Um, I'm going to re-wet my brush here real quick just to get it really high up on my head. And just smooth up the back. So you have a perfect little ballerina bow. Once you get it really good on top of your head, grab your ponytail holder. Just any ponytail holder will do. I like mine really tight because I feel like if it's really tight, my ponytail's not going to go anywhere. Okay, then what you're going to do, you're going to take your little donut and put your little donut on top of your head, on top of your ponytail, pull your hair out, and then what I kind of do, I kind of separate mine. So I put some in front, some in the back. And then this is a tip that I think a lot of people do not do. What you're going to do, you're going to take that same exact brush and I don't know if teasing is the right word, but do this to your hair. I have thinner hair, so this is going to make it look a little bit more fuller. Sometimes if you skip this step, it makes it look really fake, even though it is fake. Okay, so we have it all ratted. Looks like a big old nest on top of your head. Then what I do, I take my hand and I start swifting it real softly around the top of my head. Now it's going to be big. This is the point of it. If you need to take a comb, you can take a comb and kind of brush it. Sometimes mine gets a little crazy. So brush it all together. I find if I use my hands and just go like this, it's going to work the best. And voila! The next thing you're going to want to do is just take a few bobby pins and then just pin it down. I like to put one on each side. It doesn't take a lot. One on that side. One on the other. And then I kind of squish the bobby pins in together. And see the little wispies I have on the side? That's where this hairspray is really going to come in. Um, I get the one for color treated hair just because I do dye my hair. You're just going to spray and then again take your same brush and just brush it up. See how smooth it makes that? Most of the time I feel like when I put hairspray in, it makes it crunchy. This hairspray doesn't do that. Um, it is a little pricey. I think mine was like $14 at Publix or Walgreens, whatever's around you. And then I spray the back. And then you can spray your poof. Um, if I'm getting ready in the morning, oftentimes I do spray my poof. Sometimes it can make it a little crunchy, but I'd rather have it not go anywhere. Okay, so in less than five minutes, you have a really cute hairstyle for the day, and it didn't take um, that long to get it together. So I hope you enjoy.